Okay, it's time for a rant. I got this message earlier from somebody I know. Obviously, on the messages here, I'm going to keep his identity uh, just uh, private. I'm not going to give his information. I'm not going to talk about the person he's talking about. But this person reached out to me because he had a, uh, a concern. He had a uh, question. And this is how it reads. He goes, hey, Will. You know, someone saw from the last class, I've just recently gotten into PSA, which is a sport. It's a protection sport. It's a sport that I do. Uh, it's a club that I run as PSA. It stands for Protection Sports Association, and it's a very competitive sport. Uh, and it's a great sport. I really like it. Right? So he goes, I've recently gotten into PSA here locally, and the lead trainer here has some methods that I don't really agree with. I'm trying to be open-minded. But from watching your videos, you have a completely different style. The guy here is all about beat your dog, where kicking your dog is a proper correction, or slapping any collar and cranking it up to the max, having never been exposed, or pinning your dog down and choking it out is okay when they've never been exposed to one. I've seen at least three dogs he's worked with, or that he's working with, have some sort of problems resulting from his training. I want to say involved in PSA, but not under his direction. And so the message just kind of continues on a little bit, and he's asking me, what do I think? And obviously, this is completely unacceptable. And this is not a reflection on PSA. It just so happens that a lot of very incompetent people are attracted to PSA, and really a lot of sports in general. But being in the in the PSA environment, the PSA sport, and I myself haven't been to different clubs. I've only been in the sport for like the past few years uh, or so. And so I've been to different clubs. I've trained with different people. Uh, I've been to two deco camps. I've been to several trials. And I've trained with different people from different clubs. And unfortunately, it's just something that I see also. Um and it's completely unacceptable. I mean, I've seen some pretty stupid and incompetent handling and training that it's a result of pure ignorance. But I have also, I've been unfortunate enough to actually see this type of shit right here that my friend is talking about. Which is, you know, beating the dog, kicking the dog, hanging the dog. I've seen dogs getting smacked with the end of their leash, which has the brass O-ring on it. So the dogs are getting smacked right on the snout with the brass O-ring. Uh, I've seen dogs, um, you know, hung, um, just completely, just complete trash, trash training. It's not even trash, just not even, just not even right, just completely unacceptable, unethical. I've seen people strike their dogs, and uh, this type of stuff is just completely wrong. Um, it's something that aggravates me. It's, you know, it's very upsetting to see when people do that. And you kind of look at it as two ways. It could be A, this person really does not know how to train. But even to me, that's not an excuse. I mean, if I didn't know how to train, I still wouldn't beat my dog. Um, so I don't know how people make sense out of that, where they go, well, I'm incompetent. So because I'm incompetent, I'm just going to beat the shit out of my dog. And I just ethically, I don't know how somebody could do that to a, a dog, let alone their own dog. And don't get me wrong, I, I will give corrections. You know, I'm not a purely positive trainer. Um, I, if anything, you know, I will definitely give some very strong corrections. I am not afraid to use corrections. I will use whatever amount of correction I need. But my corrections are always on the side of... It has to make sense, um, and it has to be ethical. It has to just be humane. Uh, you could give a very hard correction and still be within the ethical boundaries. Um, you know, at least this is my, my belief. You could still give corrections for very inappropriate behavior um, and still be within the ethical boundaries. Like if, if a dog is getting dangerous or, or, you know, if it's some, doing something incredibly inappropriate, yeah, I can give some pretty hard corrections. If the dog comes up on the leash, hey, I'm going to give some pretty hard corrections. 
but my corrections are within limits. You know, I'm not going to kick my dog. I'm not going to smack my dog in the face. Um, you know, just things like that I, I just don't understand. But when people, like, are striking their dogs because their dogs are just not healing, I just don't see how you make it okay in your mind to do that to your animal because it just wasn't healing or because it didn't down the first time that you told them down or because you're making a left turn and they're bumping against you because you didn't properly teach them how to do it and so your way to do it is to kick them in the face so that they can get out of your way. I just don't, I don't get that. So this is what I told him. You know, I told him, hey, it sounds like, it just sounds like trash. Listen to your gut. Um, which is part of his long message was that he's like, it just doesn't feel right. And it absolutely, it's not right. So there's a little bit more information here. I'm just going to keep it out of the way um, just to protect the identity of all the people involved. I know who this guy is who he's telling me about because he, he told me his name. I've never, um, uh, you know, I don't talk to him, but I have seen him one time. So here's what I say. You know, I see this type of quote-unquote training all too often. Uh, and it breaks my heart. It really does. It's just very upsetting to me to see that. There are clubs that train in a more educated style, but they're far in between. And now there are some good clubs out there. Uh, and I'm, I, don't, I don't mean to say that they're rare. They definitely are out there. It's just that there's a lot of clubs. And you, you have three types of clubs. You have clubs that they really train very, very nicely, very, very well. Um, then you have clubs that train really shitty. It's just beating the shit out of everybody's dogs there in the club. Um, and then you have clubs that are in between, you know, that they're kind of learning the ropes. So, um, you know, that's, that's kind of how it is, right? Um, and some of the things I say, you know, you wouldn't believe the things that I hear, which is crazy, the stuff that I've been told how people train. Um, you know, using that term loosely, and, and have been, and what I've seen people do to their dogs. And, and again, you know, I, there, there is given a hard correction, and there's just being an asshole. And, uh, and some of the things I see is, it's just disgusting, heartbreaking. And, and one, the way that I ended here, unfortunately, the sport, and that's not just PSA, that's really any sport. It's not the sport's fault. But with the sport, you have you have events, you have trials, and you're only getting judged on how you perform at the trial. And, um, and, and so all the shitty training and all the ass kicking and the hanging and the helicopter and the slamming on the, fl on the ground and the pinning your dog on the ground, none of that gets seen. But if that's what these people have to do to, to subdue and control their dogs, then that's just what they do. And the come on bullshit excuse that I hear from people who ju try to justify this is they'll say things like, oh, well, you've never worked with a hard dog like that. It doesn't fucking matter. The, it, you can actually use operant and classical conditioning and, yes, use very hard corrections when needed without ever having to cross that line into being unethical. So, no, it's not a matter of... You know, I've never worked with hard, crazy dogs. I have actually worked with very insane, that will freaking kill you type of dogs. Um, you know, this wasn't in the sports field. This was with, uh, with the contract working dogs, with the police dogs. I have worked with insane dogs that have injured people. And even then, we still had to stay, stay within the boundaries of ethical training. So it's just... It just baffles me when in the sport world, I see sometimes even more ass kicking and knuckle dragging than I had seen in the past with the, with the contract working dogs. So there's no excuse for your com incompetence. There really is no excuse for your incompetence. You should not. And the, the crappy thing about this is like I was saying, it's because on the trials, you're only getting judged on how you perform that day on that trial. The ass kicking prior to that, sometimes even the day off, people will like drive their dogs to a certain area, kick their dogs asses, bring them to the trial, and then you know perform, and and they do well, right? Or they or they do really shitty, 
but when they do well and they just barely pass or they pass, then obviously they get rewarded. They get the title. That's not the sport's fault. I'm not saying that at all. Okay, it's not the judge's fault. It's not the sport's fault. Um, but they get rewarded for this shitty behavior. So then naturally, the next time they try to trial, they're going to do the same thing. There's going to be lots of hanging, lots of kicking, lots of pinning, lots of very unethical training for the sake of getting to that title. And I just, it's just insane. It's just crazy to me that people do that. You know, if I had to arrive at a point in my career, in my journey in the sport, where I happen to reach a limit, where I go, I just cannot get past this, I will not train anymore over being unethical and just do these horrendous things that I, that I have seen people do to their dogs. There's just no fucking way that I'm going to do that. I'm just, I'm going to, I will cross that line. I will not cross that line. I will go, we're done here. I need to be better. I need to get better as a, as a trainer than, you know, me doing all this shit. And, and no, having a crazy dog, you've never had a crazy, that's just not an excuse. You, your dog is not that crazy. I've seen some of these dogs that get their asses handed to them and they're actually not that crazy. But their handlers are incredibly incompetent. And they make up for it with force. So, no, this is not okay. Whenever you see this, anywhere you go, if it looks cringy, trust your gut. It's just unethical and it's just wrong. And you need to be careful who you affiliate yourself with.